and welcome back. So let's deal with a few things here. For example, the like button. So the perm is not here. It's where the like is going, which is like.php. So let's find like.php somewhere here. Like.php. And it seems we already have this, but somehow this is not working at all because we have issues here that need fixing. So one way to do this is to, to fix this issue is, let me, um, what do we do here? Let me get a URL and let's print that guy as usual. Let's see what they got. And then let's put die because these um wait a minute okay so let's just put this right at the top here that way when we click like it takes it should take us to the page what is happening here let me inspect the element is there an event oh there is an event right okay so it seems uh, there's JavaScript on this thing. That's why things ain't working. So let's see where the JavaScript goes. So let's go to single post here. Let's go down to the... Where is the JavaScript? Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's happening? So let me find the like button. Oh, I see. Because we are using a single post here still. Let's come down here and see what, oh, so we are using post.php still. Right. So why isn't this working though? Like post slash. Okay, so in this case, since it's JavaScript, it should be in the like.ajax.php. So let's come to like.ajax.php. Usually we get errors in our console. So let's see what errors we have. So json.pass, unexpected character at line one. So what this means is we didn't receive any valid JSON. So what I will do is go to post.php because that's the one that's receiving the JavaScript. Where is post.php? There we go. And then let's look for the JavaScript itself and look at the result. So let's do a console.log and let's put our results in there so that we can observe what errors we're actually getting, that way we can actually fix them. So I will click one more time and there we go. So what we're actually receiving is an entire page here, it seems, because there's doc type. And what page is this we are receiving? If we go to the title, it will tell us because this is single post. So it's, um, it's going back to the same uh, page here which means it did not load. Um, oh, I see what's happening. It went back to the same page here, which is not cool. So let's see what we are, where we are sending. We are sending the data to ajax.php, right? So therein lies the problem. Because what happens is that um, this ajax.php isn't found so the same way we we are sending uh we, we are using the links in a different way we should do the same here so here we'll add a php uh variable there so you can still add some php to variables let's say for example in javascript if you've got a variable you say var a is equal to you can actually do this like uh root like so this is uh, quite valid but the thing is because when the by the time the page the reason this works is that 
um, the server is going to look for all PHP tags and then evaluate that data inside the PHP tags. So by the time uh, this text gets to the browser where JavaScript takes over, this will not look like this. It's going to be some actual text. So keep in mind that this is always text. You have to put it in inverted commas like that for it to be recognized as a string. So this is, this is why this actually works because by the time JavaScript takes over, all these are actual strings and not variables like this. So keep that in mind. So here we can do this and then we're just going to say Ajax here and uh, that's it, something like that. So let's try one more time and see if that gets us a good or better response. Let me see if I need to change anything else. Okay, so refresh. Let's go to the console in readiness to attack the next error. So let me click here and there we go. We have another error there. And uh, now the advantage here is, as you can see, we at least are not returning an entire page anymore, which is a good sign. It means we actually got to our actual page. So only thing we need to do now is to console.log our result. Why did I remove that anyway? Right, anyway. So I will say console.log result. Or did I put that somewhere else on single post at PHP? Was it? Oh, I keep forgetting these things. Anyway. So I will say click here. We are still returning the whole page, right? Index of my book, Ajax. Okay, so why are we getting this back? Wait a minute. If I go back to here, posted PHP and click like, what happens? All right, so it doesn't work anymore. Hmm. Okay, so maybe let's come back here one second. Uh, maybe doing this was actually a better thing because we allow for actual oh I see what's going on here so the reason it was working here and not when we click here is because like I said the uh, the link here because we've added one extra slash here it becomes it thinks this is a folder so it's going to concatenate at the end here and put Ajax dot php which will not make sense because this the file is not in that folder it's just in my book and then ajax.php so i think what we should do to fix this problem is let me go back to post.php here what i need is to actually put the dot php at the end like so because remember in our ht access file if i go to ht access where is this what we did tell it is that if if, the, if this is an actual file, right, uh, just don't do the rewrite thing. Just uh, let it through. Or if it's an actual directory, let it through. So which means if we write an actual path to the file, it's going to work still. So let's see if it worked. Because this is the root directory. And then we have ajax.php there. So let me see if this actually works. I will click there and you see it has actually worked. So pretty good there. Okay. So all we needed was to put the root. Okay. So moving on here, the like is done. Let's go to, let's say, uh, view full image here. 
and we see image view does not work and that's an easy fix let's go to image view.php and we know that it's looking for an id there inside the get so all we have to do this is the same process you have to do over and over again is to just echo out or print readable the url and then look for the item that you're looking for and in this case we're looking for the id which is inside number one so which means i will change all id all id references like this to dollar sign url and then one like that so this should sort out our problem so let's come back here and refresh there we go our problem is sorted out except we can see the image and that's because we also need to put root considering this is a uh, okay there we go so there right there let's put uh, root like so like that and that should sort the problem out there we go okay so there that works